Good morning, I'm Jeff. I'm the Sewer Tech Northwest. Today we're at property address 7988 Southwest Leisure Lane here in Tigard. We're located at the front of the home. We're just off to the right of the front doorway, right in front of this uh, second, I guess, second foundation vent uh, from the doorway. We have a three inch ABS cleanout as our point of access. I'm going to insert the camera and check the overall condition and serviceability of the sanitary sewer line. Currently have water running. Here we go. Transitions here at 19 feet over to 4 inch 3034 PVC pipe. And we are kind of shoveling through a little bit of grease here. We'll, we'll, when we let the line drain out at the end, we'll see how much we've got. It's one of those items, fats and grease, cooking oil, stuff like that. Is a one of those things you really want to avoid putting down the kitchen sink. It can really build up in lines, and especially in the smaller auxiliary drain leading from the kitchen sink itself. Here about 53 feet out, we have reached the main lateral. I'm going to do locates to verify where the line terminates, and then we'll let it drain out completely. I think we might have a couple really tiny minor bellies in the line, uh, which are stuff I'm probably not going to recommend you repair on, but if you do put grease and things like that down the line, they'll collect quite easily in, in, in I mean, just about no standing water at all. It doesn't take much. I right, located the camera head successfully out on Leisure Lane. Looks like we may still have some water draining through here. The dishwasher just discharged. We'll give it a moment. All right, the line's all drained out at this point here. We're going to start reeling back before the dishwasher discharges again. It looks like we have a very minor amount of standing water here at the end of the line. It's You see all the junk it can cause to collect there. Anyway, that, that's only that's a quarter inch or less of debris. It's extremely minimal. Now we have all this junk falling into the line here that will kind of damn things up. But anyway, the, the amount of standing water there is something I'm not concerned about, but I do recommend a hydrojet be performed to remove all the grease debris buildup that's in the line. There's a fair amount of it. Some of it will slough off from the camera going through. A bunch of it won't, though. And this right here, that's, you know, that's almost three-quarters of an inch tall there, some of that stuff. So recommend getting that cleaned out. Right, we are back to the clean out here. I'm going to reverse direction real quick, mostly to make sure we don't have any concerning amounts of grease build up in the crawl space. Now this is actually looking pretty pretty dang clean in here. There's a little bit of very thin coating of grease, but nothing concerning. And so all that debris buildup out there really originates from that tiny amount of standing water. The, the grease and fats hit it, it floats to the top, and it also hardens, and then it just sticks to the sidewalls. It just kind of keeps building up over time. So anyway, as long as you don't have grease and stuff going down the line, um, that, that amount of standing water out there, I would never recommend repairing it. It's, it's just about nothing, but it will cause grease to collect.
Apart from that, really, it's not going to hang anything else up. Anything else that gets clogged there is something that will get clogged in just about any part of the line. So we do have good flow all the way to the main lateral. The ABS and PVC portions of the line are in good condition. The sewer line is functioning properly at this time. Pending a hydrojet, it is still functioning, but it'll function proper once there's no grease in there.